Since 1936, Tegral has been manufacturing building materials from its 45-acre site on the banks of the Grand Canal in Athai, County Kildare. Tegral is the only manufacturer of fibre cement roof slates on the island of Ireland. Fibre cement-based products provide a strong, protective skin that is resistant to fire, fungi, insects, moisture and aggressive environments. Fibre cement slated roofs have a long life cycle that can withstand frost, storms and extreme temperature fluctuations for generations. The main ingredients in fibre cement slates are cement, cellulose, synthetic fibres and water. The cement used is produced in Ireland by Irish manufacturers. In one of the first steps of the manufacturing process, cellulose is mixed with water in a pulping process after which it is then discharged to a holding tank. The pulp cellulose is fed in batches to the refining process where two large rotating discs in the refiner break the pulp and form it to the shape and properties required to work as a process fibre. This refined cellulose is stored in a holding tank ready for use with the other ingredients. In the first stage mixing process, raw materials including limestone, refined cellulose, synthetic fibres and other fillers are blended with water to form the initial mix. Once this mix has been blended, it is transferred to a pre-mixer where cement and more water are added to complete the mix which will then be used to make fibre cement slates. The fully blended mix is transferred to a holding container from where it can be fed onto the machine. A vertical rotating screen ensures that no lumps or hard pieces of cement end up in the slates produced. The machine that produces fibre cement slates at the Tegral plant is called a hat check machine. During the production process, the mix of prepared ingredients is pumped to three vats in which three cylindrical sieves rotate. The sieves are immersed approximately two-thirds in the liquid mix, the rotation of which forms a thin sheet on the surface of each cylindrical sieve. About one-third of the sieves project above the liquid mix in the vats, and this is always in contact with a moving endless band of felt. This felt collects the fibres and the adhering particles of cement to form a thin layer on the felt. This very damp layer is passed along on the moving transport felt, drained by a suction system and finally transferred onto a rotating drum. As the final layer is formed during the rotation of the third vat, an intensive surface coating is applied to the surface of the sheet. This coating is an integral part of the slate colorization process and ensures a superior surface finish. With each revolution of the drum, a layer is added to form the thickness of the fibre cement base sheet before it is cut off and carried by a transfer system to a stamping head, which cuts the shape of slates in the wet sheet. The finished sheet consists of several laminations or layers which contribute to the overall strength of the final slate. Each sheet produced consists of 24 slates, but the slates are not fully cut through at this stage, ensuring the sheet remains intact through the final process. From the stamping head, the sheet is then transferred onto a metal template where more sheets are piled to complete one load, each having a metal template separating each wet sheet. Once a load of these sheets is stacked, it is then transferred to the dewatering press for approximately 20 minutes. This part of the manufacturing process is carried out to increase the density and strength of the finished product. After pressing, the loads are transferred into the curing tunnels where the temperature is maintained at approximately 90 degrees. They are kept here for a period of four hours. Following this curing process, each sheet, whilst not fully cured, is hard and can be removed from the metal template and stacked sheet on sheet and transferred to the work in progress area for final curing which can take up to 10 days.
The sheets for fibre cement ridge production are first adjusted to the correct thickness and then transferred to the cutting press. In a similar way to slates, the precise shape for the ridge is cut from the sheet and these cut pieces are then individually hand moulded by skilled operatives. For Tegrel, moulding by hand is the key to ensure quality as each ridge is individually inspected and vetted throughout the moulding process. The moulding process itself comprises four separate steps, namely placing the cut piece correctly onto the mould, moulding the ridge into shape by hand, stamping with a moulding code for traceability, and applying a specially formulated primer. The ridges cure and harden on the mould for 24 hours. They are then allowed to mature for a further 10 days. After the maturing time has elapsed, they are painted with a unique high-performance coating, wrapped and packaged, ready to be dispatched. Once the slates are fully cured, they are ready to be sent to the paint line. Initially, the slate sheets are transferred to the paint line entry point where the slates are fully separated into their 600 mm by 300 mm dimensions. The separated slates are then transferred onto a system of rollers where Tegrel's unique primer is applied to the top, bottom and side surface of each slate. The primer is specifically matched to each of our top coat colours to provide Tegrel's unique colour effect. Following the application of the primer, the slates pass through ovens where their temperature is raised to 90 degrees immediately prior to the top coat application. The top coat is applied by rotating spray guns which give Tegrel slates their unique surface look and finish. After the top coat is applied, the slates are then passed through more ovens where curing of the paint coating takes place. Next, a highly efficient wax is applied to the underside of each slate. This serves to enhance the water repellency of the slate. Just after wax application, our slates are marked with a unique production code which provides full traceability of each one of our slates. The slates are then cooled through a process where ambient air is first applied, followed quickly by a refrigerated cooling system. When the finished slate reaches the end of the line, its temperature is approximately 20 degrees. A strict quality control system is applied throughout and right up to the very end of the manufacturing process. The finished slates are then bundled and strapped into handy packs of 15 then into pallets of 1080 for our standard 600mm by 300mm products. Each pallet is packaged with a branded hood and wrapped in a weather-resistant cover. Every day, thousands of these slates leave the Tegrel plant in a thigh. They will eventually be seen on houses, apartment blocks, churches, hospitals, schools and other buildings throughout Ireland. It is also reassuring to know that Tegrel fibre cement slates have a low carbon footprint and the low energy production process that creates them is clean and simple and production waste is recycled. Light, strong, natural and durable. That's Tegrel Fibre Cement Slates.